All right, well, I guess this is officially going to be the first video for the home theater build. Um, uh, haven't really done much since I recorded the empty walkthrough, which I'll paste here in a second so you guys can see it. Uh, but basically, we're getting new carpets on Wednesday, and everything that would normally go in all the rooms that are being carpeted, which is pretty much all of them, is currently sitting in the basement, so I don't really have a lot of room to work on the project. Not to mention, most of my time has been spent moving said stuff around. We just unloaded, you know, our second truck a couple of days ago. So this is the living room. Uh, this TV was our current TV. That's obviously going to be replaced with the Sony A80J that's sitting over there patiently waiting to be unboxed. It's been there between here and the other house for a few weeks now. After Value Electronics calibrated it, I just didn't want to take it out until I know for sure that it's going to go where it's going to go and it's going to be nice and safe. Alright, so this is the basement. It's actually better than uh, a lot of the models that we toured. It's actually got a wall here. <clears throat> so this is the uh, future home for the home theater. Um, I'm still going to do the curtains around the outside, but it's actually got power and ethernet down here, which a lot of the uh, models that we toured did not. So this should work out pretty good. This room's gonna go up front. And then we'll put like curtains there. All these lights are gonna be swapped out for smart bulbs. Jim will probably be behind it. But yeah, that's what we're working with. That's gonna be the, uh, the new home. Uh, downstairs is where the theater's gonna go. It's actually a pretty nice space for it, honestly. But the lack of updates and the lack of progress is mostly because of all this crap. So a lot of this will go in closets and bedrooms upstairs. It just it needs to stay down here right now because like I said, they're recarpeting the entire place. And this is one of the few places that doesn't have carpet. Although I'm going to see if they can take the piece upstairs in the living room, which honestly really isn't that bad of a shape. And uh, transplant it down here because it's better than nothing and it's kind of expensive to get carpet, especially if someplace we're not going to be at forever. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take the tour. Back here basically is going to be where our workout equipment is going to be. We're probably going to get like a treadmill and an ellip not a tre oh, yeah, um, elliptical and a bow flex. So we have some flexibility and some options. Uh, it's really nice that they included power. And Ethernet down here. It's one less thing I got to run and this wall is right here, which is one less thing I got to wall off So up front we got 150 inch 16 by 9 screen um, Liking animation and things I watch plenty of You know 185 movie content. I didn't really see the point in going for a 235 because you're basically cutting off The projected image anyway unless you go anamorphic and all that and I'm not I'm not at that level yet. Um, I guess I got the appropriately sized screen because as you can see, I have zero inches to spare. It literally is touching the beam. It uh, will be raised up a bit and hung from the ceiling. Uh, it's still basically taking up the entire floor to ceiling space though. So it's going to be pretty immersive. Um, unfortunately, the tower speakers did not fare super well on the move. Um, there's definitely some water damage down on the bottom and they did swell. Um, one of my amplifiers for the subwoofers is, was giving me an issue even before the move. It has a high pitched whine and probably needs to be replaced. The other one, however, did work uh, and now does not. It doesn't make any noise at all, it's, it's completely dead. So that's unfortunate. Um, the top half, the, the passive part works just fine. Um, I have a SVS PB3000 sitting right there. So that should more than make up for the base of the 210s that the other system had integrated. Um, also in the move, this guy got kind of beat up. This cone came off. And now uh, it's got five of the six pegs broken off, so I'm not really sure how that even happened. 
but kind of a moot point. Uh, I do have an insurance claim in, and we will see if that goes anywhere. Um, hopefully, if they can give me comparable value for it, then these will be getting replaced with the uh, SVS Prime Pinnacles, which is an upgrade I wanted to make anyway. This will just help facilitate it without having to go spend another $2,000. The center is fine. I mean, I, this this damage on the top happened long ago. I was testing it out and it kind of fell off the tower. I had it balanced on and went skaplush. But it still sounds great. Um, again, depending on what happens, I might replace that with a SVS Ultra Center, just to kind of keep things maxed or matched rather. Uh, I got the prime elevations that are going to be my ceiling mounted surrounds. I got two sets of those. And then over in that corner, you can see my old Cambridge uh, surrounds, which came with this other set. I'll probably end up keeping the four of them because they're, they're perfectly fine for rear channels. Nothing wrong with them at all. Projector is going to go back up on this side. I'm going to build a little fake wall and I'm probably going to put it on the other side of it so we can have it isolated a little bit. Just have a cutout for the projected image. You're probably trying to figure out where the AV rack's gonna go. Fortunately, this is a fairly large basement. And that's gonna sit back over on this side. So I got a Santa's rack, added a couple shelves to it. This is where, I know it's a little dark, I'm still working on that. Uh, it's really dark. But anyway, that's where the um, Rance 7055 amplifier is and the new AV7706 preprocessor. I'm actually going to go ahead and use my old Moran 7 channel amp as an additional amp for the other seven, actually only six channels. So I got six coming out of that one, five coming out of the new one, so it's going to be a 7. Dot, probably 2.4. And then um, I have the power connector down there as well. Pretty much all going to be run off an NVIDIA shield because, you know, who needs a Blu-ray player these days? And that's that. Um, and then we have the puzzle floor back here for the gym. That's kind of going to be the, the dividing line where the uh, two halves of the room are going to, you know, gym side over here towards the back and then the theater up here. Um, there's going to be uh, two couches down here, one for the workout area, which we inherited. And my love seat from my sectional is going to come down here. And that also sort of got damaged in the move a little bit. Got some water damage and, and a cut. Um, so I figured I might as well repurpose it for down here. And we got a new couch coming. One day this will obviously be replaced with uh, Valencia seating. But that's something that is not going to happen for a bit. I've already spent enough money on new equipment. The wife's cutting me off. And then this is some of the acoustic foam that I got. Um, I realize it's probably going to be mostly aesthetic versus actually sound dampening. But it'll make a nice breakup for the back wall, at least get rid of some of the slapback if nothing else. And then I have uh, other acoustic panels for the ceiling, mostly to pretty it up and to try to mitigate some of the noise going upstairs. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. You know, it's got a 0.9 noise reduction curve coefficient but I mean you know there's ducks so <laughs> sounds gonna transfer and I'm it's an apartment it's a townhouse I'm not gonna go through major construction we're not even sure how, exactly how long we're gonna be here and I don't want to do anything permanent that I'm gonna have to undo later so I'm just gonna do some double-sided tape foam panels and at the very least they're black so it'll help with light control and, like I said, prettying it up a, a bit. And if it helps reduce noise from going upstairs, then so much the better. But that's it for now. Uh, it's going to be a bit before I probably post another update. Like I said, we're getting carpet in three days for upstairs. Then all this stuff needs to be relocated. And then I can actually start the process of terminating cables. I can see I have exactly one speaker cable going to the front so far. Mostly just to kind of test things out, make sure everything still worked after the long transport, and they've been in storage for four years. 
Um, and we'll go from there. I'll post updates as I start doing things. Uh, I did not put the screen material on. This was mostly just a test fit to make sure I actually was going to be able to get it in here before I ran out of return window. Screen's in that tube down there. I just wanted to take a look at it because one of the things I heard is that the mesh was not fine enough and you could really see the holes. It looked perfectly fine. It's not a true 4K projector anyway. It's an Epson 6050. You know, it should be fine, especially with my eyesight. <laughs> I'm not real worried about it. You know, and like I said, temporary setup. You know, screen is something that is kind of fit to the room. So, you know, if I need to ditch a $619 screen, I can live with that. You know, if I get a screen that's 2 or 3K, and it's not going to work in whatever new place we go to, that's going to be a little more of a pain in the butt. So, you know, future upgrade. Um, but that's it. I'll stop taking up your time. And I'll have another video, I don't know, maybe a week or two, once I actually make start making actual progress on this room. See you later.